Okay, this morning we're at the National Guard Armory in Rice Lake. And uh, there's another boat show and travel trailer show going on. But we'll walk in and take a look at things. It's a sure sign of spring when you start seeing boat shows and travel trailer shows. Um, this particular boat show looks like it's being put on by uh, Boaters Choice Marines. And we'll try and find a representative from their company to talk to here in a little bit. I'm Matt. I'm from Boaters Choice Marine, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. We're up at the Rice Lake Armory this weekend, showing off the 2014 product. Been a few changes over the years, not only in hull designs, fanciness of the interiors, but mostly probably the motor technology has changed the most over the last 10, 15 years. We've gone from carbureted two-stroke engines to fuel-injected four-stroke, direct fuel-injected two-stroke. Uh, I guess great fuel economy, probably 40 to 50 percent better. Uh, emissions are amazingly clean. The old motors your grandpa ran you used to see the oil or gas mixture in the lake after you drove away. The new motors today, you just don't see any of that, so we're taking care of the environment. Uh, quiet, four strokes are super quiet, hardly hear them running. Uh, put them on a pontoon, putt all weekend long, hardly burn a tank of gas. Uh, don't know what else to tell you. couple of very nice looking boats. It would be impossible to go unnoticed out on the water with these two. Well, back in 82 I started selling Jaco's for Willys. This improvement is Back then, there was no slide outs until the mid 90s, which expands your trailer size by <clears throat> by substantial square footage, and just everything is advanced. The appliances now it's self igniting, water heaters and refrigerators. Everything is automatic, so it's pretty easy to go camping now because it's just as well it's just as just all like the conveniences of home, home. Yep, that's what it is. Yep. and you were saying that uh, some of the models can be lived in down to just above zero yep that's for sure all the materials uh, and Jayco they're going to be totally green in 2015 they recycle everything all their waste and that's the only company that does it it's going to be doing it. It'll be the first company to do it. The others will have to follow. Well, and that's Jayco good information. Is, Jayco is an Amish owner. He started making Jayco's tent campers in his in his chicken coop. So that's what, how he started. <laughs> and Jayco right now is only company locally around this area with a two-year warranty. So, so the, they're proud of their products. The travel trailer industry is coming back after the recession a little bit and it's, people are starting to move around? growing. Every year it's growing, the RV business. All right. Go in and take a look at the inside of a trailer here. They can sure pack a lot of stuff into a small amount of space. Got that new trailer smell. 